everybody. Uh, last week I had a friend text me and she said, you know, in your videos, your skin looks so clear. What do you use on your skin to keep it so nice and things like that? And I've actually been wanting to talk to you about my skin and my hair and everything. Um, if you remember back, if you have been following me long enough, back in June, I believe it was, I actually went shampoo free, um, soap free, lotion free, things like that. I bet I was trying to remove chemicals and unnecessary products from my life and um, I removed those things. So I wanted to give you an update on that if I'm still doing it and things like that and then talk about my um, skincare. Um, first things first, I don't have perfect skin whatsoever. Um, I think the camera hides it. So whatever my friend is seeing, I think it's fantastic, but um, I don't have perfect skin. And actually, if you look really close, I'm probably not going to be able to see it, but I actually broke out today, which I think is kind of ironic because I had planned on doing this today and then boom. So it, it kind of sucks, but whatever. It kind of proves the point that I don't have perfect skin. Um, I was blessed with decent skin complexion growing up, um, knock on wood. Um, I never dealt with acne or anything like that. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. I've always had the bumps and things like that, but nothing crazy. So I, I, I've definitely been grateful for that. Um, in regards to my products, um, I am still shampoo free. I have not had, uh, any shampoo touch my hair in about, if I calculate it out, like seven months. Um, so no hair products, no nothing. This is totally natural. It is, I get in the shower. I, um, I showed you last time, but I use this comb. And I just use water. I don't use any shampoo. I don't use any pomades in my hair. I don't use um, coconut oil, hairspray, nothing. I wash it with the water, comb it, dry it. I use a flat iron on it still, and that's it. So um, I think it might be a little bit different if I had a little bit longer hair. I'm not sure. Um, things have kind of changed in my diet. Once again, if you've been following, I am no longer raw. And so I do have cooked foods and I also have um, more fats, I would say. I try to do healthy fats, but I do have some fats in my diet more than I used to. I do notice a slight difference um, in the diet with my hair. It has changed a little bit, but it's still tolerable. The grease for lack of a better word. Um, but really, I still love it. I do plan on keeping this up and um, we'll see what happens with that. But I don't, like I said, I don't use anything in my hair. So the people that say, oh, I love your hair. I don't use anything in it. This is all natural. Um, deodorant. I am still using the Thai Stone. I showed you that last time. Um, this I got back in June when I started, um, just dampen it, put it under your arms. I kind of went over that in the last video about this, but obviously there's still a ton left. So it's, it's obviously lasting. And I don't have any issues with smell. I promise. Um, I still ask my husband, Hey, you know, am I, am I, am I presentable and things like that? And I really don't have any issues at the end of the long day. Um, who doesn't have a little bit of smell or whatever, just in general, you know, going through life, that musk, you know. Um, so I do have that, but like I said, who doesn't? Um, once again, remembering back, I was shaving and things like that, and it was tearing up my legs. And so I did break down, and I do use one kind of soap. Um, it's Kirk's Castile or Castile soap. I don't know how to say it. I even googled it and it kind of sounds like everybody announces it different or says it pronounces it different um but that's what i use i use this only on my legs period i don't use it anywhere else um not under my armpits nothing it's just my legs just for basic lubrication for lack of a better word to um to shave my legs because like i said those first few weeks i was just using water and literally like dry shaving without any moisturizer or anything and it was rough um and for lotion i am still using the co coconut oil um i just put it in a little pad like i used to and still using it that way i really enjoy it um with the winter months i have had a slight a bit of issue with um, my outer thighs i've always had this issue in the winter months like, they tend to get like chapped um, I'm still having that issue, but nothing that's intolerable or anything that the coconut oil can't handle. So I use that there. 
Um, I have not had chapstick or lip balm or anything touch my lips. I don't even know when the last time was. And I used to be obsessed with it. I mean, I was constantly putting it on and I had it at my bedside table and everything. I don't have it. I don't even think it's in my purse. And if it is, I don't realize it. I just don't use it. If I need anything, I go back to the coconut oil. But nine times out of 10, I don't use it. My body has gotten used to not needing it. Now, mind you, it has been a mild winter here. It's not like the winds have been whipping or anything like that. Um, I am running outside, though, so um, I do have that issue, but I haven't had any issues with my lips being dry or anything. So um, that's that. So I'm still, for the most part, product-free, um, personal hygiene-wise. I um, I use toothpaste and things like that, still like normal. I don't use the, the powder that people use or anything that... But um, I have got, gotten down to the bare minimum, stayed at the bare minimum for the past seven months, and I don't see any th changes in the future because it's working for me. I highly recommend it. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you comment below or on my blog or whatever, and I will be more than happy to answer them. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Keep smiling. Be grateful.